My name is Nancy Perrin. Uh, we live in the Wishkaw Valley. It's um, a small piece of heaven tucked away. Only problem is I can't drive anymore because of uh, vision problems. And so we rely on Grace Harbor Transit. We need this transportation. And I'm not alone in that. Nancy lives with her two adult sons who are both disabled non-drivers. She holds a picture of a Grays Harbor Transit bus that her son Chris drew. And again, I say that also from my job previously in the coroner's office, when you go to people's houses where they've been isolated for too long. It's not a healthy situation whatsoever. We shouldn't be making choices for other people, but we should make sure they can make their own and get out of there, go to town, get food instead of eating the cat food or the dog food, which I have seen. We do not say, well, move to town. That is putting the responsibility for a community service on one individual. I can also tell you that moving to town is not an option for most of us that live in the country. For the average person living on Social Security, you don't just get to move around. And the waiting list in Aberdeen to get on subsidized housing, they opened up the waiting list the other day. You have a three or four year waiting list, as I recall. The only choice that older people have left is uh, riding the bus. It's near and dear to all of us that we have the transit service.